In this tutorial, I'll be showing you about Invesco, Invesco stock. Just type in, uh, type it in Google and click enter, and you can see the information as shown in Google. This is this is the full name of the stock, and um, the symbol is IVZ. And if I want to buy the stock right now, I have to pay sixteen point eight five US dollars for one stock. And it's a billion size firm, so it's a big firm, and it's paying a dividend yield. So any firm that is paying dividend yield, that means they're financially very strong, which is a positive sign. No matter how much they are paying dividend, even if it's uh, right now it's paying 7.36%, even if it's paying less than 1%, that's a positive sign because dividend yield means extra money of the firm. So after paying the loans, liabilities, creditors, they still have extra money left. That extra money it pays to shareholders as dividends. So any firm that is able to pay even 1% dividend, that means they're financially very strong, is a positive sign. Now let's have a look at Wikipedia and see when was this founded. I can see it's founded in 1935 and um, I just want to see what the employees have to say about this firm. I'll copy this exactly from Google, paste it here, type Indeed reviews, enter and um, I can see from Indeed that we have 324 reviews and it's 4 star. That's brilliant. Please read through the reviews yourself and check out the jobs listed and the questions asked. And uh, I want to read through the reviews in Glassdoor as well. That's a brilliant website as well. So I can see we have 690 reviews, nearly 700 reviews and 3.6 star. Please read through the reviews yourself. Check out the jobs listed, the service they're paying, the interview questions, the benefits they're giving and the photos. Now let's go to Yahoo Finance and I want to see what the key executives are getting. What salaries are they on? So I'll just paste this exactly. Please click the symbol from Nasdaq and go to profile and um, you just check out the sector industry for the employees and the best part is that i can see five key executives and all of their salaries have been shown that's brilliant because they have shown us all the salaries that means that they are very transparent and it's easy to build trust with this firm that's brilliant now let's go to just your patents and i want to see if it has any patents or not i'll just paste this exactly from google and click enter I can't see any patents but I'll just remove this part click enter and yes there's one patent but the name is slightly different to what I'm searching so what I'll do is I'll just copy that and paste in Google and uh, I will just want to yes it's the same part go to images it's the same thing what I'm researching so that's the same name so it has one patent in 2017 which is a recent patent which is brilliant because they're still innovating right now recently that's very good but it's only one patent but um, maybe in future they have more patents but they have one patent recently uh, so they have innovated recently that's brilliant and please look at assignee because these people have full rights and um, the if a company has a patent that means they are very competitive they are very strong in the market and uh, they have competitive edge it's very difficult to beat that firm that's brilliant let's go to macro trend and see that if they have what ratios they are on Check out price ratio and price book ratio and type in the symbol or the name in Vesco, that's the one. And um, I just want to point out if the price book ratio is less than one, that means stock is cheap, undervalued and it's a discount. That's brilliant. If the price book ratio is more than one, that means stock is expensive. The higher the number goes, the more expensive it will get. So it's just loading right now. So you need to be patient with this website because it has a lot of data, but it will make your life quite easy once it's loaded. So we'll see. Please let me know if you have any questions for me or if you would like to request any stock in particular that you're researching right now. So I would love to make that video for you as well. Right now I can see that um, the price book ratio is 0.55, it's less than 1, that means that it's at discount. Somebody who will buy in August 2019, they'll be getting 45% discount, which is brilliant. And if I just see in 2019, June, it had like nearly, I would say, 43% discount. Because somebody who bought in June 2019, they bought it for $20, they paid $20 to buy something that was $30 worth. So they got they got like 
43% discount. That's brilliant. But right now, it's even more discount. It's 45% discount. So um, I just want to point out the people who bought in 2007 September, they got three times more expensive stock because they paid $19 to buy something that was nearly $6 worth. So they got it three times more expensive. It was quite expensive in 2007 September. Right now it's a sale. Let's have a look at other ratios. I want to look at current ratio. If current ratio is less than one, that means stock is very risky because liabilities are more than assets. If current ratio is more than 1.5 or more than that, that means that stock is very safe. It has a very good margin of safety. So please look for 1.5 or more than that for it to be very safe. Let's have a look. Right now I can see that um, it's less than 1.5 so it's a risky stock but let's see the previous trend as well. I can see that it's more than 1.5 that's brilliant. Okay so I can see that since 2005 up till 2012 September it's less than 1.5 consistently so it's a it's a risky stock but since 2012 December it has been more than 1.5 it's a safe stock it has a very good margin of safety and uh, since then since 2012 it's a very safe stock it's always been above 1.5 um, until 2019 March so it's a very safe stock uh, but just recently it's a little bit below 1.5 so I wouldn't mind that I would just say it's a safe stock because consistently it is a safe stock since 2012 so consistently nearly six years it's a safe stock it's always been above 1.5 let's go to debt debt equity ratio uh, this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant for it to have a good margin of safety let's have a look Okay, right now I'm looking at um, debt equity is more than 0.5. That means that the stock is risky in terms of debt. It's more than 0.5. Let's look at the previous trend. It has consistently been more than 0.5. So I would say that um, I would say that since 2005 up till 2009 December, it's always been less than 0.5. So it's a safe stock up till 2009 December. It's a safe stock. But since 2010 March up till now, consistently, it has been more than 0.5. So it's a very risky stock in terms of that. Since 2010, so nearly nine years, nine years, recent years, it's a risky stock because it has always been above 0.5. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look.
okay i can see that um it is less than eight percent so i'm looking for eight percent more than that for it to be good return on equity it's less than eight percent and i can see that it's more than eight percent 2019 march it's eight percent okay so there's fluctuations i guess so i can see that um since um i would say since 2013 june it's uh up till i would say um up till 2019 march it's consistently more than eight percent but just recently it's below eight percent so um you know just once it's fine but consistently it has been above eight percent so that's brilliant so 